Umar Ahmed, IFL TV, MTK Global, and still Troy Williamson. Uh, just a reaction to that performance versus you, Troy? Um, horrible. Wasn't the best of my performances, but like I said, I got I got the win. Sometimes you win good, sometimes you win ugly, and tonight I won ugly. But um, I got the win, I'm still, I'm still a champion, and that's all that matters. Surprised uh, Harry performed that well? Um, I think I performed bad. If I'm, I'm not taking nothing away from Harry. He obviously he done what he had to do. He made a hole for me, and that's what obviously that's what we expected. He's, um, he was coming in, he was getting on my chest, he was in with his head, he was clinching, he was tying up. Um, yeah, he, he made it awkward for me in there, and it worked. It worked at points, but unfortunately, he didn't get the win. I seen that he was mourning earlier. Uh, for those who watched it, think, think for yourselves. Um, I thought I won, and I thought I won. I, I, not one comfortable, but I think. Um, I thought I won by uh, by the majority of the rounds. So, yeah. Were you fully confident uh, at the final where that you'd get the nod? Yeah, a million percent. Obviously, going to the last round, the coach said just stay with Sean. Um, you win the fight, but just don't give it away. Um, I went out and I thought I won the last round. Just, I just boxed him. When, when I was keeping my range, I was making it a lot easier for, me, for myself, but um, the ring was, was a little bit small and I thought I played, I played on his advantage because he was just rushing me and getting on my chest. Why do you think you didn't perform to the best of your ability tonight? There's no excuses. Um, no excuses. I just, uh, I just didn't perform. Yeah, fair enough. Troy, obviously now you, you relax for a bit, but in terms of future opponents, I know you were very vocal um, after Frank's proposal to Eddie Earn and Sky about fight, fighting the f likes of Anthony Fowler and all the other boys at Matram. Obviously, there is also Hamza Shiraz with Frank as well in your weight class. What, what do you want? I, want, I just want to keep climbing the ranks. Um, it, doesn't, I'm, I'm not, it doesn't matter who I fight to be honest, come to be completely honest. I want to turn up, I'm going to give it me all. I'm always fit, I'm a true professional. It doesn't really matter who I fight. Um, as long as it makes sense and, it, and as long as it elevates me up the, up the rankings, I'll fight him. There is a lot of good fighters on that on that side of the fence, that match room at 154 pounds. Yeah, there's Egerton, Fitzgerald if he comes back. And um, Kevin Conway. He's a massive talent. I've, I've done a lot. Of, I've done some spam with him leading up to this fight. He boxed yesterday, and he won. He won, uh, he won in good style. So yeah, there is some there's some huge potential on that side of the pond. On this side of the pond, there's not many. But if it, JJ and Hamza. Yeah, JJ and Hamza. But we've been offered them, and uh, for some sort of reason, they haven't. They haven't. Uh, they haven't. Uh, yeah, they haven't, they haven't accepted the fight. So for whatever reason, I don't know. It might be the team. I'm not saying it's them because the fight is. Um, but yeah, I'll fight anybody at, at Super well the way I've said it before. I don't need to call nobody names. They all know. They all know where I am, and if they want to fight, make the call because I'm here. All right, well, Troy, uh, take it easy for the rest of the night. Well done tonight, and uh, look forward to what happens in the future. Right? Thank you very much. Cheers.